From devastating losses to challenges in starting a family, longtime Fox News anchor Ainsley Earhart has faced more than her fair share of life's curveballs. Have a positive attitude, enjoy your life, even in the hard times. Ainsley Earhart and Sean Hannity's rumored romance may have sparked plenty of buzz, but what some fans might not know is that, much like Hannity, Earhart has been married twice before. Her first marriage was to her college sweetheart, Kevin McKinney, with whom she tied the knot in 2005. They eventually called it quits in 2009, with rumors claiming that it was because of a third party, though both parties kept quiet about the details. Earhart gave love another go just two years later, this time with former Clemson University star quarterback Will Proctor. The pair even welcomed a daughter in 2015. But once again, happily ever after wasn't in the cards. A source told People that Proctor had been unfaithful with one of Earhart's close friends, a claim he denied, telling the New York Post, "...there is not one ounce of truth to the allegations that I had an affair. I remain focused on and committed to being the best dad and maintaining a friendship with my wife, even though she has decided to move on." Earhart was all about career first, family later, throwing herself into the hustle to climb the professional ladder, only to find out that life doesn't always follow your meticulously laid plans. While she nailed her rise to the top, there was a price. By the time she was ready to start a family, things didn't go as smoothly as she'd hoped. She told Christian nonprofit I Am Second, "...I was a planner. I had a whole life planned out, what I was going to do, how I was going to get to New York, what internships I was going to do, and what the stepping stones were going to be. But when I started trying to have children, I was not successful." In an essay she wrote for Women's Health, Earhart revealed she hadn't felt a strong urge to have kids until her late 30s. Though the dream of a big family had always been in the background, four kids to be exact. But by the time she was determined to make that happen, the idea of four biological kids wasn't on the table anymore. Still, she decided to go for one, except that didn't turn out to be so easy either. She wrote, "...this time in my life was a season of patience. I wanted a baby so badly, but it wasn't working out. I began feeling really sad that we were having so much trouble conceiving." Earhart said that it was especially difficult because seemingly none of her peers had the same issues, adding, "...I continuously saw pregnant ladies on the sidewalks, children on park swings, and moms pushing strollers. My professional friends were getting pregnant, and I was not." It took eight months of trying before Earhart and her second husband, Will Proctor, finally got the news they'd been waiting for. Both were overjoyed, their prayers seemingly answered, and they were ecstatic when they heard the baby's heartbeat during one of their initial doctor's appointments. But by the next visit, that precious sound was gone. So that was really difficult because we were so close, you know. Earhart wrote in Women's Health, "...what happened next was unexpected and crushing. Was this really happening to us? God took my child home to heaven where I knew he or she would be happy and positively perfect. One day, we will meet again." The aftermath was brutal, as Earhart endured multiple surgeries to remove the unborn child. During that time, they also discovered the baby had an extra chromosome. And after such a devastating loss, Earhart and Proctor decided to take a break from trying to conceive. But life had other plans. Just a few months later, she found herself unexpectedly pregnant again. In November 2015, they welcomed their daughter Hayden. Speaking with Yahoo Life, Earhart shared how her miscarriage reshaped her perspective, teaching her that nothing in life is guaranteed and that every moment counts. We just don't know what the future holds and, God willing, we'll all live long lives. But I just embrace every single second with Hayden. Embrace every single second and know that everything is a season. The good times go by quickly, but the bad times go by quickly, too." Ainsley Earhart hasn't shied away from sharing the personal challenges she's faced, especially when it comes to her mom, Dale. In a Facebook post, she opened up about her mother's long health battles, revealing that Dale had been fighting various illnesses for decades. Earhart shared in March 2022, "...mom was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes at 39 years old, three shots a day, and countless finger pricks. Then, four years ago, she suffered a stroke. Dad found her just in time and doctors rushed her into surgery. She is a fighter, a warrior, and a woman of God." Though Dale initially survived the stroke, her health took a turn for the worse in the years that followed. And sadly, she passed away on October 22, 2022. Despite such a heartbreaking loss, Earhart still appeared on Fox & Friends just days later, telling viewers, "...you all probably are wondering how I can come to work today. The answer is, my mom would have wanted me to." She just let Ainsley be Ainsley. While losing her mother was undoubtedly painful, Earhart finds solace in her strong belief that Dale is now in a better place. We're just grateful that we know her faith was strong. We know where she is. She's with Jesus. She loved the Lord and taught us all about Jesus and sent, took us to church every single Sunday. 